There we go. Beautiful. We made it. We made it. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this traffic jam that I've, I've made. I'm causing a traffic jam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the traffic, boys. Hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Euro Truck Simulator 2 video. Today I'm in the Volvo again, and as you guys can see, it's red and it's beautiful. And if I do this, we can have a party. Uh, but yeah, today I'm gonna be continuing with my special transport uh, thing series. Yeah, I guess series. Um, and we're gonna be pulling something really big. Now, for that, we might need to change our lorry a little bit. We are only a, a single axle on the back, so we might need a double axle or maybe even a triple axle. Uh, but that is something that we can change. We also need to fix the lorry, and we also need to go to sleep for a little bit. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's go ahead and reverse in here and go to sleep. Alrighty, so we've had a quick sleep. Let's go ahead and press M, and we'll go to the... I guess we're going to go to the freight market one. And we're going to try and find a heavy cargo one. So if we can go in here and go to, like, cargo weight up. Oh, wait, is it down? Maybe it's down. Yeah, cargo weight down. Uh, yeah, there is one right there. That's a heavy transport right there, and it's massive. That thing is huge. Where does it go from, and where does it go to? It goes from Brussels all the way to Amsterdam, so that seems like a pretty good one. It is a heat exchanger. It is absolutely ginormous. It's 70 tons, which is insane, and, uh, it's 5 meters. Whoa, hold on. It's 18 meters by 5 meters by 4.8. That is absolutely ginormous, so that is exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, we do need to change our shop, our, our truck, so we're going to go to a shop real quick. And uh, I believe there's a shop in Brussels, if I'm not wrong. Uh, let's go to, like, truck dealers, and we'll have a little look. So, uh, there is one in Brussels. It's an Iveco one. All right, we are not pulling a 70-ton thing with an Iveco. That is just not something that I'm willing to do. So, let's go to, um, let's go to Osnabrück, and uh, we'll buy one there. Alrighty, I think I'm done. So we've obviously went with a really big uh, rear load. You guys can see the cabin. It's a Globetrotter XL, so we've got a really high cab. That's a pretty cool one. We'll go into the next one. We are a chassis 8x4. That means that we've got 8 uh, visible wheels from the outside. And I guess we got some wheels on the inside at the back as well. So there's an extra two on there. Uh, there's, well, there's an extra one on this one. There's an extra one on this one. Same on the other side. So uh, I think that's what it means by the 4. By four? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, we've got like four wheels on these ones, or two wheels on these ones, and yeah, single wheels on the front ones. Uh, so that's a thing. We've got the bigger engine, which is the 750 horsepower one, which is pretty cool. If we go forwards a little bit, we got a new shifter, which is a, uh, I guess a good one. I don't know, it's more expensive. So I'm assuming that it's better. We've got more gears, um, which I assume is, is good, I guess. Sure, we'll go with that. This one's a six-speed one, so I guess that means that you only have to change gears like a car. Which would be kind of cool, actually. That'd be really good. Uh, but still, we're going to go with this one because I believe the torque is better. So that's good. Let's move on to the inside. We went with the exclusive UK version because I like being on the right-hand side. Uh, because that's where I drive in real life. So there you go. We went with this color scheme, which is red, white, and black, which is like the frantic colors, which is really good. If we move on to the next thing, we don't have a grill as of right now, which I guess we should have. We should go with one of these as well. And we should put like, I don't know, these things on there. Because uh, they're kind of cool, I guess. We'll go with a few of those. Uh, I forgot about these pieces completely. I'm not going to have bull bars on here because I don't think we need them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we've went with. We've went with these lights on the top with some horns. And that's it. Then we've changed the tires to the runner ones because they're nice. And that's literally all we've done. So uh, let's go ahead and confirm it and buy it. It is 336,999 euros. So we'll go ahead and purchase this thing. Let's go ahead and trade in our current one. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. There we go. So this is what we're going to be pulling the big old cargo with. Look at it. Isn't she beautiful? 750 for the amount of horsepower we've got. It's a Volvo FH16, which is awesome. And we are ready to go. Wait, is that my... That's my trailer as well. We've actually got my own trailer too. That's awesome. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our garage management, which is somewhere down here. Garage manager, there we go. And we're going to teleport to Brussels. So if we do this, we're going to go to Brussels. We're going to just teleport there. That seems like a good idea. There we go. Beautiful. That's actually a lorry I've already got in there, by the way, in case you guys seen that other Volvo. That's a lorry that I've got spare. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the freight manager and we're going to try and find... Some nice old cargo, which is this thing right here. Let's go ahead and continue, and we'll grab it, and we'll take it to its destination. 
Yeah, here we go. Let's reverse out of here. Yeah, beautiful. Turn on the lights as well. We need those. And, um, yeah, we're ready to go. There we go. We don't want to take our trailer. We don't need it. That's good. Beautiful. What am I doing right now? I'm using a keyboard and mouse, by the way, just in case anyone was wondering why I can't turn very well. It's because I'm using a keyboard. So, uh, there you go. All right, cool. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and stop at all the red lights and stuff because we kind of need to. Otherwise, we'll lose money. Uh, but other than that, I think we're good. I think we're all right. All right, handbrake on. Beautiful. Turn to green as soon as I did that. That's upsetting. Uh, we'll also use our indicators because indicators are good. You know, there we go. Beautiful. And as soon as we get down this road, we're pulling into FCP, which is not a normal company. But I guess it's like DHL in real life, presumably. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I think that's right. Anyway, we're pulling in here and uh, we're going to go ahead and get our trailer. All right, here we go. Freight market. We're going to grab this one, the heat exchanger. Take job. Man, this is going to be huge. This is going to be absolutely ginormous. Here we go. There she is getting loaded. Oh, that is insane. Look at all these people. That is really big. That is really, really big. Okay. I don't think we're going to do this without crashing. So that's just a heads up. All right. It gives us some instructions. So avoid any possible conflict with the escort vehicles to keep the cargo between them and keep the cargo between them. All right. Cool. Do not drive out of the estimated route nor the filling stations. All right. We can't fill up. We should be full of fuel before we go. So that's good. Obey speed limitations, which will be ensured by the front escort vehicle. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. Good. Watch out for overtaking traffic and other drivers on the roads. Okay. Change lane maneuver. So this is what you do. The back one will move into the lane. Then you, then the front one will move into the lane. And then we move into the lane. So that's how it works, I guess. All right. Cool. So there's the front one moving out already. That's beautiful. The back one should be behind me somewhere. Unless he's already on the road. He is. He's already on the road. And I guess we're getting ready to go. So let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, man. Are we going to hit that building straight away? We have. We've hit the building straight away. I had to pull out. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, that's not a good start. We've already smashed into the building. Come on. Do it, Volvo. You are powerful. You are a powerful Volvo. Do it. All right. Okay. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how this is going to work at all. All right. Cool. I think we're allowed to cross onto the other side of the road. I feel like that's why he's on the wrong side of the road. All right, here we go. Beautiful. We can pull out of there. All right, nicely done. Nicely done indeed. Hopefully, we don't crash into that middle barrier. But I think we should be good. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we do obviously need to be on the right side of the road. Let's go on to the right side. Here we go. Beautiful. All right, we've got a red light. I don't think we have to worry about red lights. I think we can go straight through them. We do have a policeman right there. And some people taking pictures. Hello! Hello, nice to see you. Nice to see everybody. So we can just go straight through those. We need to stick to the traffic laws. So uh, don't go over the speed limit and we should be good to go. Is my back one behind me? Yeah, he is. All right, that's awesome. It's really cool having some sort of escort um, because normally you're just driving around by yourself. But no, we've got an escort. We feel special now. So that's awesome. Alrighty, so this is where we start to have a few problems. Basically, what happens here is they stop at the top. You see him stop? It's really weird when they do that because I need to build up speed. The thing on the back of me was 70 tons and he stopped. Look, I don't... Un whoa, whoa! I don't understand why they do that, but they do. So, uh, there you go. It's how weird is this? I almost crashed straight into the back of him because he stopped. And now we're going again. We have to wait for the back escort vehicle. So, presumably, he's here now. He is. All right, cool. And I don't know whether we're going to change lanes at any point, but uh, hopefully they'll tell me. And that would be great. So, uh, yeah. So far, so good. We haven't smashed into the back of him yet. However, we have crashed at the very beginning. So, I mean, that's awful. That is very bad that we crashed straight away. But hey-ho, there you go. Alrighty, we are following in right behind the dude. And, um, yeah, we're being overtaken by a lot of vehicles. We should probably start to, like, stay over on the right a little bit. That's probably a good idea. We are speeding again. Um, it seems to, like, want to take off. As soon as we go down a hill, it flies away, even though we got cruise control on. Uh, but I guess that's okay, because we are, uh, obviously pulling 20, uh, 70 tons, not 20 tons, 70. Uh, which is, which is quite heavy. It is quite heavy. Hello, how's everybody doing? How you doing, Mr. Man? Oh, wait, he's on his phone. Hi. Oh, is he taking a picture? I think he might have been taking a picture. That's pretty cool. Uh, changing lane maneuver is coming. Adapt your speed to avoid a possible crash. All right, cool. Well, I'm not going very fast at all. 
So hopefully these guys will move over very quickly. Uh, cause yeah, we got issues. Has the back vehicle moved? No. Has the front vehicle moved? No. They seem to do this really light, which is, uh, quite odd. I don't see the back vehicle moving over at all, so, uh, please move, because we are about to go off. Alright, is the back vehicle over? I think he might be. I can't see him, but I think he is. Let's have a little look. Yeah, he was. He was over. Alright, cool. Well, that's good. We sort of done that maneuver relatively well, I suppose. But they do wait till the last second to t change lanes, which is a little bit of a poopy. A little bit of a poopy one, but that's fine. I don't even have my disco lights on, boys. There we go. Now we got our disco lights on. That's awesome. I love disco lights. They're always good to have on. There we go. Beautiful. All right, cool. I don't know how far away we are from our destination. We can't be that far away. Let's be honest. Um, but yeah, we are going very slowly. Let's get our little thingamabobby back on. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. There's our thingamabobby right there. It says two and a half hours. So that is like not very far at all. However, we are going very slow. So maybe it's even even longer than it says there. I don't know. Alrighty, it looks like we're coming up to a border now. So it, we might be going into Belgium? No, we go, we're going from Belgium into the Netherlands. That's where we're going to. So we're going from Belgium into the Netherlands because we started at Brussels and we're ending in Amsterdam or close to Amsterdam. I think we might be going to the port though. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I've done this run before. And if I have, I don't remember it. So uh, there you go. We need to remember that we don't need to stop for fuel because that's not a thing. We should be full on fuel, actually. Yeah, we are. We're full on fuel. Uh, so we don't actually need to stop anywhere because we planned it. And um, stopping for fuel with this thing on the back wouldn't work because I think we would hit the top. I, I do. I feel like we would hit the top. Unless they have special truck ones. Yeah, they do. But I still feel like we might hit the top of there as well. I'm not entirely sure, though. Also, why are we flying past these guys? Why are they going so slowly? That was really weird. Very strange. Oh, we got a changing lane maneuver going on. All right, I'm going to change lane, too. I'm just going to go in behind that guy. I don't feel like we need to wait for the other guy behind us. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. I feel like that was fine. Even though I kind of did it wrong because I didn't wait for the back guy to go in. But hey-ho, there you go. Oh, man, isn't she beautiful? Doesn't she look so good, though? I do like it. The, the lorry goes quite well with the trailer and stuff. And, um, yeah, I mean, this thing being 70 tons, it doesn't feel like a 70 ton thing, but I guess that's because we've got a pulling a pulling truck. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I guess we shouldn't really feel it. Not entirely sure how fast we should be going here. Uh, I guess 60. Yeah, it says 60 on my sat-nav. So, um, I guess, uh, what does, what, what is my measurement in? I don't know what my measurement, I guess my measurement's in miles an hour and we're going, like, kilometers an hour. I guess that makes sense. All right, cool. So I'm going like less than 40, but I'm going 60 kilometers an hour. That's crazy. That is crazy right there. We're going over some sort of bridge. Not sure what river this is. Oh, wow, a pirate ship. Look at that. We got a pirate ship over there. That's cool. It's always cool to see pirate ships. And also, I'm on the hard shoulder for some reason. What am I doing? I don't know. Okay, so we got another lane change, and it looks like we're coming up to Rotterdam now. So I don't think we want to go into Rotterdam. We are going to have to change lanes. Let's start indicating now. Uh, we'll wait for that guy. Why is he, like, shooting off? He's going so fast in front of me. Uh, has he changed lanes yet? I can never tell. I'm waiting for him to change lane, but... But I'm gonna have to change lane, because I'm at the end. Yeah. Alright, cool. Not entirely sure why that happened, but there you go. Uh, I guess the speed limit probably changes. It does, it changes. We need to slow down to, like, 50, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go past Rotterdam. And then we're gonna turn right, and I guess that's another motorway towards Amsterdam. And once we're in Amsterdam... We are, we are there. We're actually pretty much there. So we've only got one little motorway to go until we're, we're, we're at our destination. So that's pretty good. Okay, so we're going right here. Let's, oh, no, we're not. We're not going right here. We have to go on for the next one. It's the next one. My bad. My bad. But we are kind of catching up to the guy in front. Although we can't see him yet in our little mirror right there. Uh, but we are catching up to him. So let's go ahead and slow off a little bit. Uh, because he's not going directly on the speed limit, which is a little bit annoying. Also, in case you guys haven't noticed... There are a lot of police waiting. Whoa! Okay, I thought I was going to hit him there. I think he slammed on his brakes. What are you doing, man? I'm going to have to wait late to go into that. There we go. All right, cool. Take it wide a little bit. There we go. Nicely done. And I feel like we didn't go on the grass at all there, but we might have. I don't know. I wasn't really paying that much attention. Even though I'm the driver, but there you go. All right, cool. The speed limit changes to 100. However, that means for us, it changes to 60 because that's our max speed because we weigh 70 tons. All right, go ahead and slow down. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, wow. No way. Wait, we're, we're hitting that. We're actually hitting the lights. There's no way. 
I don't think they've even thought about this. We're hitting the lights. Look at that. Holy Jesus. That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. I'm going to drive in the middle because I don't want to hit those lights. I really don't want to hit those lights. Look at that. We are so close to the roof right now. Oh, oh, we're going to hit the lights again. We need to stay somewhere in the middle of the lights. We can't be hitting them. That's not a good idea. Jeez Louise. All right, cool. I think before I've been through here and I did end up hitting the roof of something. I can't remember what it was, though. There was something just no clip through it. It was crazy. It was crazy. Oh, well, whatever. I guess uh, I guess we didn't technically hit anything there. So we've only had one crash this video and it was when I was hardly moving. So that's good. We're doing all right. Oh, we got another tunnel thing going up. So I'm going to move over so everybody can get through. Oh, I don't think it's a tunnel. We're just going underneath a thing. I don't know what this is. Why is this a thing? What's above us? I don't even know. That's really... W oh, Jesus. We're catching up. My retarder isn't working that well uh, for these dudes. All right. Okay. Keep going. Come on. You can make it up there. I know you can. Because we're going to slow down massively. You need to hurry up. Yeah, we slowed down a lot. Holy bejesus. We went from 65 or something to like 40. Oh, we are going so slowly right now. Oh, Jesus. Come on. We got the airport above us. That's cool. That's really cool. What airport is this? Where are we? I guess it's like Amsterdam airport. I'm not entirely sure. Does, I guess Amsterdam has a big airport. I have no idea. 747 on our left, boys. Look at that. He's beautiful. 747 is a big old plane right there. Don't think there's seven, uh, no, A380s in this game. I don't think there's any a A380s in this game. Uh, but they've got a KLM 747 inside of another 747. I don't know whether you guys seen that, but uh, I have to concentrate on driving again. And we are going to move over into... I just crashed into a dude. I was going to say, we're going to move over into that lane so that we, uh, we don't have to um, hit these lights. I don't want to be hitting these lights. It's not a good idea. I feel like we are going off in a second, though. I'll move back over. Sorry. Sorry for hitting... Where's he gone? Sorry for hitting you, dude. Also, where's my back guy? Where's the back dude gone? We're missing our escort. There he is. He's going to have to catch up to us because we're so far in front. we got a lane change incoming, and I think we're just going to the right. Also, we've got a really, like, tight bend coming on here. So with our really long trailer, which is 18 meters, we've got a bit of an issue, don't we? We have a bit of an issue going on here. We're going to have to stay all the way over to the left, and hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that we can't actually fit around here going this speed. Because he's going this speed, so... Oh, just scraped the right-hand side. Damaged my trailer again. That's not the best. And, yeah. All right, cool. I slammed into the right. That's my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I had a steering wheel, I feel like I could do this. And maybe I should... <gasps> we should do VR. VR Euro Truck Simulator 2. We... I think that is a possibility. That I think we can set that up. I think we should do that. That would be really cool. That would be really, really, really cool, actually. Such a good idea. Oh, diggity dog. Right, I'm going to have to set that up soon. I'm going to have to Google to see if it's possible first, but I'm going to have to set that up. We got another lane change inbound. That guy's already switched over. Has our back dude went over? I think he has. We're going to go over. They look tiny in that mirror. I don't know whether that's just me, though, but I, I feel like they are very small in that mirror, uh, which is crazy. Oh, slam on my brakes. Slam on the brakes. There we go. We're getting very close to our destination. We're turning left here, so we got to have uh, some blockages over that side, which is fine. We do. And we're going to have to go around this post. Okay, so I'm going to stay in this lane. And we're just going to turn from here. There we go. Alright, that was... Uh-oh. I was about to say that was easier than expected. Uh, but no. No, it's not. Oh, God. Oh, no. Boys, I'm in a bit of a sticky situation here. All right, idea. I've got an idea. I can't get out of it. I'm in my sticky situation, and I'm stuck in it. I can't bring it round. Unless I just ram it round. No, that's not happening. Stop beeping. You're annoying me. You're annoying me. I swear. I need to push it right. Like this. There we go. Beautiful. We made it. We made it. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this traffic jam that I've, I've made. I'm causing a traffic jam. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry about the traffic, boys. Okay, get out of the way. Why are you guys even there? You shouldn't be there. Get out of the way. All right, there we go. We're almost at our destination. We have indeed crashed a bunch of times now. If you count each one of those crashes as one crash, then I guess we've crashed about 50 times because I was going backwards and forwards and then backwards and then forwards and damaging my trailer almost every time. So that sucks but but that's okay because we're bound to crash, okay? They kind of knew I was going to crash. I'm new on the job. I haven't driven in this game in such a long time. So they kind of maybe expected me to crash. Let's go with that. Let's go with the fact that they expected me to crash so they didn't give me a very expensive thing to pull. Let's, yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine by me. All right, cool. Come on. Come on, dude. Get out. Oh, he's in the middle of the road. I guess he's, oh, Jesus. Slam on them brakes. Hot diggity dog. We're going now 30 miles an hour. Hot diggity dog, boys. I feel like we're going into the, yeah, we must be. We're going into the dock. Because there's a big old ferry right there or something. And, uh, yeah, we're going left here. So if you guys can all stop, that would be fantastic. I'm going to have to go on the right-hand side of the road. All righty. And we're going to go in here. There we go. Beautiful. We're going to miss that, so that's good. And we are ready to go. Hot diggity dog. Nice. We just have to park up and we are, we're done. We're done. We don't even have to reverse it in. We can just go in forwards. That's awesome. There we go. Beautiful. Let's line ourselves up very, very nicely here. There we go. Slam on them brakes. And uh, I guess we're ready to get out. So let's have a little look at the outside. Yeah, we've parked very badly, but that's okay. Lower them legs down. And we are done. What do we get? Satisfactory. Hot diggity dog. That's good. We get 16k for that. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So... Um, that was, that was fun. That was quite fun. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>